Hey viewers, I'm John. And I'm Maddie. And, and we're, we're the Energy, Energy Crew. Oh no! There goes my favorite hat! Did you drop it? No, the wind took it. Man, I wish there was no wind. It could only happen if there was no sun. What does the sun have to do with wind? Well, have you ever felt warm wind? Mmm, yes. And have you ever felt cold wind? Yes, yeah, so? And which is heavier? Neither. It's air. Wrong. Cold air is heavier. Is that why hot air balloons float? That's absolutely right. So when the sun heats up cold air, it floats up? Yes, and this newly heated air rapidly displaces the other air causing wind. Okay, so when we capture this energy and convert it into electricity, it's technically solar energy. Technically yes, but we call it wind power. That's with the windmill looking things, right? Yeah. The ones that have, on average, three to four blades that are slanted like airplane propellers, so when the wind blows they spin? Yeah, but do you know what happens after that? I think. Aren't these propellers connected to an axis that is connected to different gears that spins a turbine, generates electricity? Yeah, but what did you say about gears? Well, if you alter the gear ratio, you can generate more electricity. How does that work? If you have a one-to-one -one ratio, there's no change. But if it changes to a ratio of 2 to 1 or 3 to 1, where the first gear becomes bigger than the second, the speed of the turbine increases. That's pretty cool, but can we do this until we get as much energy as we want? Yeah! No! No? Well, why not? Because of Betz's Law. What's Betz's Law? Betz's Law states that no wind turbine can capture more than 1627 or 59.3% of the kinetic energy of the wind. Well, are all scientific laws set in stone? Yeah, like gravity and centripetal force. Well, now you're the one who's wrong. Really? Yeah, because in 2009, Jerry Brock broke this law with the invention of the wind tamer. What's the wind tamer? The wind tamer is a funnel-shaped wind turbine that is like traditional turbines, but it uses a diffuser system. This diffuser system creates two vacuums, one behind the blades and one behind the turbine, and these vacuums pull the air through the system, therefore creates twice as much electricity that a traditional turbine makes. Is that the only reason it's better? No. Some other ways that make it better is because it works at low speeds, it can be short, it doesn't harm birds, it's very quiet, and it's cheaper. Well, I hope we start seeing this in the future. Me too. So is America number one in wind? No, America is number two at about 61 gigawatts, or 61 billion watts. So who's first then? Surprisingly, China, at 91.5 billion watts. That's pretty cool. Who are the other three in the top five? In third is Germany at 34 gigawatts, fourth is Spain at 23 gigawatts, and fifth is India at 20 gigawatts. That's not as much as solar, but it's still a ton. Yes, it is. Are there any other technologies like the wind tamer? In fact, there are. Make sure to be back here next week for our Tech of the Future video, Wind Edition. <laughs>